often when you're talking about open source and WebGIS, you hear about GeoServer. I wanted to go through the basics of how to install that and get it running for a server environment. Now, I'm gonna talk about the applicability and use of this product in another video. This one really just focuses on getting it running. So the first thing you need to do is actually download the software and it does have a couple of requirements. First, it does need a Java 11 environment or a Java runtime environment. And that can be downloaded uh, for this in installation, I've downloaded the Adopt Open JDK version 11. Now there is a bit of a manual install to this and there are two ways to do it. One way is you download uh, an archive that allows you to run it in um, its own container very quickly. And it's, it's fairly easy to do, but it doesn't start up as a service, which can cause problems. As well, the environment that's running the program isn't exactly the most robust. So it's an easy way to get things running, but it isn't a good way to run a server. So I'm gonna focus on the way that is more robust and more tried and true, and that's using Tomcat, which is an application environment, uh, and GeoServer will run within a container on that. So Tomcat is completely open source as well. So you'll have to download Tomcat to be able to do that. And I'll go through the install of Tomcat and then GeoServer. I will assume that you already have the OpenJDK installed. Now the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use this web archive section. And that's because Tomcat is the environment that's running and you download this war file or web application uh, package. And it's it's actually just a zip file. If you want to take a look at its content, you can just rename it .zip and take a look inside of it. And we'll download the latest version and then uh, get that running. And I've done that here already under downloads. So we have Tomcat and I'm going to be using the latest of eight. Uh, there are later versions. This is what I found on the web for the current version. I've downloaded GeoServer, and again, this is the latest version, but this should work in future versions. And there's the OpenJDK, which I've already installed. Okay, so first step, I'm going to install Tomcat. And Tomcat is part of the Apache open source environment, and it has a nice simple installer that you can go through. One key thing you do need to change on the default installer is you want it to start up as a service. And the reason for that is you'd like the GeoServer to actually start when Windows start. You don't want to have to log in and manually start it up. The other items are all uh, fine. Um, this native one gives better performance uh, for, for production environments, and there's no reason why we shouldn't do that. Okay, so those are the only real changes you need to do. Um, in here, you can see what port this will be running on. Uh, Tomcat actually does provide its own web server, which you can access, and it'll be by default on port 8080. The Windows service name, you can see here, it'll be Tomcat 8. You can name this whatever you'd like. Uh, personally, I like to rename it, given that the only thing that this Tomcat is going to be doing is GeoServer, so I put GeoServer in there. If you'd like to be able to protect this a little bit more, it's recommended you put an administrator login. So I'm gonna do that as well. Although if you're not gonna, uh, we're gonna make port 8080 work uh, and pass through port 80 into the IS using a redirector. Okay. This is the path of the JRE that was installed. It uses that as well. Tomcat uses it and then also by default, because Tomcat's running GeoServer, GeoServer will use it as well. So all of these things kind of roll up. They're all a Java environment. The only thing I don't like is the default destination folder, in particular for where GeoServer would, would be running. So what I usually do is, uh, because Java sometimes doesn't like uh, spaces, I'm gonna run it into the root directory and I'm just going to call it Tomcat Geo Server. And that way I know exactly where it is. It's on the C drive, and all of the contents of the Geo Server will also be in there, including 
the data folders. So it's nice to have a nice short path for this. So then we'll go through and do the install. And once it's installed, uh, you can run it. I don't really need to see the readme. This will start the service and verify things are running. And we'll go and connect to the service just to double check to see things are running. Because again, GeoServer does start its own web server. So we can test that out very quickly by simply going up to here to localhost 8080, because that's the port number. And this should appear. And this is basically showing me that Tomcat is running successfully. So that's the first requirement. And you can see that's fairly simple. If we take a look in the Windows services that were installed, you'll find Apache Tomcat 8.5 GeoServer, and that's running. So this is the service that's actually started to be able to make that Tomcat environment run. The next step is to take this war file, and I'm going to extract it into the downloads folder here. You'll see that there is an individual file here, which is fairly large. This is the actual program, and this is an application deployment file, and we just need to put it into a particular location in Tomcat, and it will actually extract and run. So we'll do that very easily. So just simply uh, copy this, and then we'll go into the installation folder, and you'll notice there's this web apps folder in Tomcat. And there is root, which is, this is what we were looking at when we uh, visited the port 8080, uh, but we're gonna put it into the web apps folder. And watch what happens when I drop this. Because Tomcat's running, it's actually watching for these war files. It'll see it, create its own directory and extract the contents into a folder. And that folder then becomes the application. So now I've basically deployed the geo server. So there's the content of the actual geo server. So now we can go and test to see if it's running. So we're just going to type in the path, which is localhost. We have to go through the Tomcat. So port 8080 is what we installed the Tomcat to run on. And then the path to this is GeoServer. That was the folder that it was deployed to. And now we have GeoServer running. Now the default username and password is admin. And then the password is just GeoServer. And there you go. I have logged in and I have GeoServer running.